dear students today i am going to teach you one question related to this arithmetic this question is question number 2 of se model question issued by cdc so here the question is like this bpin wants to deposit rupees 1 lakh in a bank for 2 years the bank offers 10% per annum compound interest with three alternative annual compound interest half yearly compound interest and quarterly compound interest three options are there in the bank number a which option among the three alternatives help bpin to get more interest write it this is one marks knowledge type question so let us write its answer first of all then after that we will look at number b and then number b answer will find out okay first of all this one question number 2a let us do to a the third option option that is quarterly compound interest quarterly compound interest help bpin to get more interest always we have to write answer in one sentence not in a line now draw a line like this now question number 2b answer we are going to do let's see question first of all number b how much compound amount does he receive after 2 years from interest compounded semi annually this is two marks understanding type question so we have to calculate semi annual compound interest how much compound amount not interest how much compound amount does he receive after 2 years from the interest compounded semi annually okay let us write down his answer now for this let us write down here principal p is equal to rupees 1 lakh time t is equal to 2 years rate of interest r is equal to 10% per annum now we need to calculate half yearly compound interest is equal to compound amount sorry not interest compound amount is equal to what now we have let us apply formula ca is equal to p 1 plus r by 200 power 2t Minus one not required. If it was interest, minus one would be there, but it is only amount. So one lakh is the principal. One plus R is ten by two hundred to the power two t two times two. So this is equals to one lakh. If you calculate inside bracket, you will get one point zero five. Zero zero cancel and one by twenty means zero five. The power will be four. Two times two four. Now we can use calculator and then write down this answer. Rupees one lakh two thousand 
is rupees one lakh twenty one thousand five hundred fifty point six three like this will give answer now we will move to third question that is question number c to c let us see question first of all in number C, at the end of the one year, if Bipin withdraws the total amount received according to the semi-annual compound interest and deposit it for rest of the period to get quarterly compound interest, how much amount will he get at the end? Look at here. Uh, in number B, he withdraws money only after two years. But instead of that, if he withdraws the money after one year, when one year will be completed, then he will withdraw the money and that money he will again deposit in the quarterly compound interest. If he did so, then how much amount will he get? That is the question. Now let us do in the same way. We can write this one. This is higher average type question. Now look at it here. Principle is same. Time is changed now. Time T1, let us say, is equal to one year only. One year. Rate also same. Rate R1. R, you can write just R only, no one. Because uh, R is equal to 10% per annum here also. Principle also same. P is equal to rupees 1 lakh. In one year, how much amount will he get that we are going to calculate now? CA. We have CA is equal to P1 1 plus R by 200 power 2T. So this is 1 lakh. 1 plus R is 10 percent by 200 power 2T. 2 times time is 1 by year only. So now this is 1 lakh times this is 1.05 to the power 2. Now if you calculate you will get this much. Rupees 1 lakh 10,250. You will get this much. Okay. This compound amount will be the principal for the second year. Now for second year. Principal P. P2 now. Principal P2 will be this one. Rupees 1,10,250. This money. He will withdraw this money from the bank. And again, deposit the same money for quarter yearly compound interest. Rate is same. Time also one year only. Time here also one year. T2 is also one year. Now we will apply quarter yearly compound amounts here. We have CA is equal to P2 bracket 1 plus R by 400 power 40. This is quarter in yearly compound interest formula. So P2 is 1,10,250 bracket 1 plus R is 10 by 400. 1, 0 will be cancelled. 4 times 1. So this is 1.1,10,250 times 1.1 1 .1 plus uh, 10 by 400 power 4 this you can calculate now 
this will be equals to 1 plus uh, divided by 40 is equal to you will get 40 by 41 that is 41 by 40 that means 1.025 to the power 4 you will get okay to the power 4 and then equals to times 1 lakh 10,250 okay 1 lakh 21,000 you will get this much rupees 1 lakh 21,000 695.37 you will get hence hence he will get rupees 1,21,695.37 at the end of two years okay in this way we can complete this question number two thank you very much for watching this video okay bye bye